Okay, uh, many of you are getting ready to start module five, and the custom, and you'll notice that at the bottom of the module, that there's a, uh, a five point extra credit for making a uh, a collection letter that is in your own style. So what I'm going to do is to show you how to do that. Uh, when you're here at the customers section of QuickBooks, you'll see that. Um, there's a few customers in there. I just need to make sure the dates of the invoices so that I have some overdue invoices. And this one looks like, uh, let's see, uh, it's got the due date here is much later, so I'm going to put in this date. And um, I'll come down to here and see what we've got there. And let's make that one. Uh, 2017 as well. Oh, that would still have to be even earlier in 2017. And then I have here, I'll do a third invoice and make that, uh, let's make that one really late. Okay. So now I have some invoices that are past due. Um, that was the only way this will work if I'm if I'm giving a, a making a letter. Now to do a simple collection letter, um, I would just go to prepare collection letters. And the first thing it's always going to tell you is that you need to go through the templates. Now if you're in the classroom and and this screen doesn't come up, I have a quick fix. fix but it's not necessary for all the computers. So just just ask me if uh, um, you don't get this screen, and we'll and we'll go further from there. But here we are, and this is uh, choose the recipients, and then I go into next, and these are the three people with the late invoices, and so I'm still on customers, and um, I want let's say that I want to do a uh, a harsh collection letter because especially that one's going to come up really late. So let's go here and go to next, and the next thing it's going to ask me is for my name. And, and title. This is just a format for the letter. So um, uh, let's put okay. So that comes up next time whenever I go to create a letter. So when I come in and let's see what we go for. And the thing that you need to watch that we found in uh, the classroom at least was that that. Uh, um, when you get to this stage, it's generated the letters, and you'll see that mine it comes up on my taskbar. I just happen to have my taskbar over to the side, but the letters are there, see, and it's in Word, and so you're just getting kind of a glowy effect on Microsoft Word. And these are the three letters that were generated just now, and um, you can see uh, that it generated the letters right away, and it will do that for any outstanding invoices. Um, that you want to send a letter to. Now, this is just a basic letter, um, and it's a collect. It's a harsh collection letter, so it has a comment in here about uh, we must hear from you soon, or you'll be for forced to take action. Please send your payment in full, um, and and this type of thing. Now, there's other types of collection letters, but I'm still going to use this template. So I, I want to close out of this one, and now what I want to do is come back, but um, I, I don't, I mean, I can get to this stage where it prints envelopes, but it tells you about the envelopes. And QuickBooks will um, generate these envelopes for you, so it's a very quick um, way to, to have your envelope set up. And it comes, it will automatically put in your company return address. So when you click on it, again, it's going to bring open those envelopes over, let's see, let's watch my word. Uh, may try to go straight to my printer. Here it is. Here's the envelopes. Okay, see, so it's tell, showing you that they're there, and when I click on OK, it will um, try to go. Um, it it's trying to go to a PDF right now, but th this is these are the particular envelopes that um, it would create. Okay, and I don't want it. I, I didn't want to print them, so that's the reason why I just kind of bypassed that. But now let's go to this to generate our own. So if I go again to pre, re, prepare collection letters, 
and um, we're going through the same process and I've got my recipients and I click next and instead of going here I'm going to go create or edit a template that's the big change and then I come to next again and this will give me the existing letter templates and I need to choose the type I want so if I want a harsh uh, collection it would it would come here and but see all I have all these other ones to choose from as well but these are the types of letters that I want and so I'm going to go to next and then it says to use a template so I'm using that template wait I should have gotten my template here oh here it is da -da. okay so there's my template for the harsh collection letter. Now I need to do my um, my special formatting that I want for the letter. So if I come here and let's say that I want to do something like, uh, you don't have to do it this way, but this is just to give you some ideas. I probably, I would cut this block, come up to the header option, paste the block back in, and I'm pasting it. I cut it with a control X. Now I'm going to copy it using the tool board method and now it's now it's back in my header instead of just at the top of the document and at that point I can take this and also make it come over to the right and possibly change uh, some font settings here and this is a construction company so maybe uh, do something interesting a little bit larger and I don't want to spend a lot of time on this, but just to give you some ideas on how you could do it. And then I could also come and uh, throw in an address block. And this would start to become the one that I would use for my QuickBooks letters. Now I want to do this as a paragraph underline, so I'm going to come in and choose it there, possibly do a blue line, and um, I could make it a little wider. There we go. And OK. Now, when I click on OK again, OK, so I've got my address block started. And one other thing I wanted to put in there is possibly my company logo. And um, of course, there's, there's uh, it, it, most companies going to have their logo to use. Um, let's see what I've got here. I, I've got some images that I could choose from, and usually when I do this, I just choose something cute. Uh, so let's see, what have I got over here? Oh, oh well, this would be kind of cute. Let's see, IRS tax professional. Uh, I could throw that one in. Okay, that's kind of businessy looking. And then I come in there, and we go in, and we throw a wrap around this, make it tight, and get it so that it's in my header. Make it a little smaller. Back up in the header over in here. Now I just have a little bit of it. I just have something to make it a little bit more interesting. Come back to my letter <clears throat> and I can make my overdue invoices bold and possibly red because this is a harsh collection letter so that's a pretty good one and one more up and then I just click on save oh I didn't want to save it there I want to do a file save as save as shoot that would have changed my um, <sighs> harsh collection letter altogether but I want to do it as my company harsh collection letter and save now what that does is it goes into my company templates. So now when I click and I go into QuickBooks and I go to choose my, again my collection letters, I've got my chosen collection letters here, go to next again, and now if I look at the list, I've got my company, Harsh Collection Letter is on the list. I can go to next, it comes up automatically with my name and the name of my company, and then I go to next again. Again, I have to go back to that taskbar and look for the blinking Word document, and there we go. So if I come in now and look at all my letters, 
they are there. Okay, so that's that's the type of thing that you'd want to do is just come through and um, and and make this interesting, and you'll get that five points extra credit. So that's up to you uh, um, on the extra credit, but it's nice to know um, how to do the process as, as well. These letters are individual from QuickBooks. It's the template that makes the difference. So I will see you in the other side.